We see them every day, wherever we are. In nature, in man-made objects, even in ourselves. The three primary colors are red, yellow and blue, while the secondary colors are orange, green and violet. In addition to those, there are six tertiary colors. Red orange, yellow orange, yellow green, blue green, blue violet, red violet, which are formed by mixing a primary with a secondary. In physics, color is associated specifically with the electromagnetic radiation of a certain range of wavelengths visible to the human eye. Radiation of such wavelengths constitutes that portion of the electromagnetic spectrum known as the visible spectrum, in example light. Vision is obviously involved in the perception of color. A person can see in dim light, however, without being able to distinguish colors. Only when more light is present, do colors appear. Light of some critical intensity, therefore, is also necessary for color perception. Finally, the manner in which the brain responds to visual stimuli must also be considered. Even under identical conditions, the same object may appear red to one observer and orange to another. Clearly, the perception of color depends on vision, light, and individual interpretation, and an understanding of color involves physics, physiology, and psychology. An object appears colored because of the way it interacts with light. The analysis of this interaction and the factors that determine it are the concerns of the physics of color. The physiology of color involves the eyes and the brain's responses to light and the sensory data they produce. The psychology of color is invoked when the mind processes visual data, compares it with information stored in memory and interprets it as color. Aristotle viewed color to be the product of a mixture of white and black, and this was the prevailing belief until 1666, when Isaac Newton's prism experiments provided the scientific basis for the understanding of color. Newton showed that a prism could break up white light into a range of colors, which he called the spectrum, and that the recombination of the spectral colors recreated the white light. Although he recognized that the spectrum was continuous, Newton used the seven color names red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet for segments of the spectrum by analogy with the seven notes of the musical scale. Newton realized that colors other than those in the spectral sequence do exist, but he noted that all the colors in the universe which are made by light and depend not on the power of the imagination are either the colors of homogeneous lights or compounded of these. Up next, I'm going to show you a few charts that display all the different shades of a particular color. These are very useful for artists, designers, friends, makeup professionals and anyone who's planning to get their house painted. So, let's begin with white. Here is the chart with its shades. In order from top to bottom and left to right they are white, pearl, alabaster, snow, ivory, cream, egg, shell, cotton, chiffon, salt, lave, coconut, linen, bone, daisy, powder, frost, porcelain, parchment, and rice. Now, let's continue with tan. Its unique shades are tan, beige macaroon, hazelwood, granola, oat, eggnog, fawn, sugar cookie, sand, sepia, latte, oyster, biscotti, parmesan, hazelnut, sand castle, buttermilk, sand dollar, and shortbread. Up next is yellow. Here are its shades. Yellow, canary, 
gold, daffodil, flaxen, butter, lemon, mustard, corn, medallion, fire, bumblebee, banana, butterscotch, dijon, honey, blonde, pineapple, and Tuscan sun. Up next is orange. Its shades are orange, tangerine, marigold, cedar, rust, ginger, tiger, fire, bronze, cantaloupe, apricot, clay, honey, carrot, squash, spice, marmalade, amber, sandstone, and yam. The next color we're gonna talk about is also my favorite one, red. Its unique shades are red, cherry, rose, jam, merlot, garnet, crimson, ruby, scarlet, wine, brick, apple, mahogany, blood, sangria, berry, currant, gloss, candy, and lipstick. After red, we have pink. Here are its own shades. Pink. Rose, Fuscia, Punt, Blush, Watermelon, Flamingo, Rose, Salmon, Color, Peach, Strawberry, Rosewood, Lemonade, Taffy, Bubblegum, Ballad Lip Bar, Crab, Magenta, and Hot Pink. Up next, we have the color Purple. Its shades are Purple, Mauve, Violet, Boysenberry, Lavender, Plum, Magenta, Lilac, Grape, Periwinkle, Sangria, Eggplant, Jam, Iris, Heather, Amethyst, Raisin, Orchid, Mulberry, and Wine. Next, we have Blue, and its shades are Blue, Slate, Sky, Navy, Indigo, Cobalt, Teal, Ocean, Peacock, Azure, Cerulean, Lapis, Spruce, Stone, Aegean, Berry, Denim, Admiral, Sapphire, and Arctic. Our ninth color is green, the color that's mostly associated with nature. Its shades are green, Sartrose, Juniper, Sage, Lime, Fern, Olive, Emerald, Pear, Moss, Samrock, Seafoam, Pain, Parakeet, Mint, Seaweed, Pickle, Pistachio, Basil, and Crocodile. Our next color is Brown. Its shades are Brown, Coffee, Mocha, Peanut, Carob, Hickory, Wood, Bacon, Walnut, Caramel, Gingerbread, Syrup, Chocolate, Tortilla, Ember, Tony, Brunette, Cinnamon, Penny, and Cedar. Up next, we have Grey, and its shades are Grey, Shadow, Graphite, Iron, Pewter, Cloud, Silver, Smoke, Slate, Anchor, Ash, Purpoise, Dove, Fog, Flint, Charcoal, Pebble, Lead, Coin, and Fossil. Finally, our last color is Black. Its shades are Black, Ebony, Crow, Charcoal, Midnight, Ink, Raven, Oil, Grace, Onyx, Bitch, Suit, Sable, Jet Black, Coal, Metal, Obsidian, Jade, Spider, and Leather. So you see, all these colors have so many different shades that make them all very distinct from each other. It's easy for us to just use the ones we know of every day, but the truth is, sometimes we have to look at these different shades more closely. For example, when you want to paint your house, you will want to use the exact hue that you think fits best for it. For that, 
You will of course need to know all the different shades and hues of different colors that are available to you. Generally, color makes everything look more lively, more beautiful. It's just not the same if you look at something that's gray than to look at something that's like red or green. It's way different. You could say it makes our everyday lives more colorful. But anyways, if you found this video informative, leave a like. Comment down below your favorite color and let me know why you like it so much. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos just like this one. Thanks a lot for watching, I'll see you next time.